All right. In this module, we're going to talk about hypo and hyper eutectoid steel compositions. And so for these compositions, um, just like we talked about with eutectic compositions, they refer to the left and right side respectively. So hypo refers to the compositions before or to the left of the eutectoid, which is 0 .6, 0 0.76. So anything below that and above this point right here, which is approximately 0.22. And so this composition that we have highlighted um, is a hypo eutectoid steel. And so we want to look at what happens um, to the compositions of those and how the microstructure looks. So if we're up here uh, and we have austenite, that basically means that all of the carbon in the system is soluble in this phase of iron. Uh, just for your information, that's a FCC uh, phase of uh, iron. So FCC iron uh, has all of the carbon soluble in it. However, when we start to drop in temperature, we see that the solubility goes down and therefore we're gonna have to start to form alpha and then some form of carbon, which in this case is the cementite, so uh, Fe3C. Um, so up here we have austenite. So when the first significant temperature is going to be down here, a little above 800 degrees. And that's where we're going to start to form the phase here. And just like with what we did with the labeling of phase fields, um, if you're not sure what's in this region, uh, you look it to the left and to the right, and we see that this should be alpha plus gamma or ferrite plus austenite. Um, so we start to see at that temperature, we start to form small particles of alpha. Um, and if we continue to decrease the temperature, we'll get more and more alpha in this amount. And so here we see that we form uh, alpha regions. Here it's not in the typical spherical shape. It's along the grain boundaries, uh, but it's still the same idea. We have more and more alpha the further we decrease in temperature to the point where we're right above this eutectoid, which is 727. Um, we have kind of the maximum amount of this alpha in this form that we're going to get. And the composition of austenite reaches the orange or the eutectoid point. And so then we know that we're going to get the eutectoid. So similar, a very similar, uh, basically identical to what we did with the eutectic system, only instead of a liquid, we have the austenite solid phase. And so at that temperature right below, we see that all of this gamma that's left over, all this austenite becomes perlite, which is the mixture of alpha and Fe3C that we see here. So this is an example of hypo eutectoid. Uh, we're going to have perlite. Um, so it would be 100% perlite if we were just at 0.76, but we're below this. And so we pick up some alpha or ferrite before the eutectoid temperature. And so that's what this kind of blue region is here. And so if you want to see what this looks may, might look like in a real system, this is a hypo eutectoid steel. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the exact composition is, but you can see the, the lamellar structure of perlite. So those areas that are darker are perlite. And then you can see the lighter regions, which are pro eutectoid ferrite. And if we wanted to get the amounts of both of those, right, uh, you'd want to go back to the eutectic system and you can look at how we calculated that pro-eutectic uh, phase, um, the amount of that and the amount of the eutectic solid, and it'd be the same procedure here for the steel system with the eutectoid reaction. All right, so, and, and, and here's kind of showing you an example of that, looking at the uh, amounts above, right, will tell you how much um, pro eutectoid alpha we have and pro or, and then how much a remaining gamma we have. And then below, that tells us that the remaining gamma becomes perlite, and so we can get the amount from this calculation. Um, and if we want to calculate the entire amount of alpha phase and the entire amount of cementite, we can do the lever rule below the eutectoid as well. And that would be what this capital R and capital S uh, is.
All right, so now let's look at hyper eutectoid steels. So these are compositions above 0.76, but below this 2.1 approximately temperature. So we have a uh, composition here in red, and, and this would be a hyper eutectoid steel. And we start with the same composition. It's uh, austenite. It's austenite, but it does have more carbon in it, right? As opposed to a composition over here that has less than 0.76, this has over one uh, weight percent carbon. So there's more carbon there. And so when we cool, we're going to see that we form at this temperature, we form uh, now because of the higher amount of carbon, we actually start to form the other phase, which is over here, which is Fe3C. And so you can see it's listed here in red, so you can kind of tell the difference. Um, and if we continue to decrease the temperature, we're going to form more and more cementite until we get the, to the eutectoid, just like we have before. And here again, it's showing it along the grain boundary, um, and that is the cementite. Um, and then once the composition of austenite uh, decreases because of the uh, formation of Fe3C, it forms the eutectoid, and then it goes through the uh, perlite reaction. And so you can see all this gamma becomes perlite, and then we still have that remaining Fe3C. So a real microstructure of uh, hyper, hyper eutectoid steel is shown here. And again, you can see the perlite, um, uh, these perlite kind of colonies uh, with these layered structure, but you can see along the grains between the perlite, you can see that pro-eutectoid cementite. So basically, hyper-eutectoid that we're talking about here is going to have pro-eutectoid cementite, and then hypo-eutectoid, which we just talked about, will have, we'll have a composition over here, and we'll have pro-eutectoid ferrite because of this phase field here, as opposed to the phase field here. And we can get the amounts um, in this in the same way. We can determine how much uh, pro-eutectoid pro cement, uh, pro cementite there is, um, and uh, perlite by doing the um, lever rule above, and then we can use the lever rule below to get the overall amounts of the phases, alpha and cementite. So V and X as opposed to the capital V and X. All right, so in this next module, then we're going to go through some examples of these steel systems.